This is a high beta stock, right? He's, he's uh, quite literally, this defines the expression going for broke. Uh, because they, they, he's already admitted they need a lot more funding, which is why they want to curry favor and be viewed positively by Wall Street. And we've never seen a, uh, such dispersion in analyst uh, expectations. You've got a spread of 160 to $500 a share amongst different analysts on Wall Street. That tells you that there's a wide variety of perspectives as to whether this is going to make it or not. And let's face it, he's spending a half a billion dollars on a gigafactory. I mean, he's going for broke here. The whole merger with Solar City. I mean, he's got a, a mission and a, and, a, and a goal here to do something much, much bigger. And, you know, that carries risk with it. And, John, there's only so many times you can send that email, right? Hey, tighten our belt. <laughs> I mean, after a while, you, you can't breathe if the belt is tightened to a certain extent. So it's interesting to see that he's trying to control costs at that level. But that's sending some kind of a signal to investors, is it not? It is. And I think it's a short-term signal. They need to raise capital now. Uh, so let's tighten the belt for this quarter. Let's show, hopefully, uh, some profitability or cash flow positive positivity. Uh, but I, I, I agree. I mean, 19 analysts uh, surveyed. You've got seven uh, who said uh, hold. You had seven who said uh, buy. And you had five who said sell. And, uh, you know, on, on one hand, you've got productivity problems. You've got $600 million of, of cash burned in the first six months. On the other side, you have an absolutely explosive category with massive, massive tailwinds. You've got the best entrepreneur on planet Earth. And you've got an incredible brand. So I think the pick of them is kind of, uh, it makes sense. Better entrepreneur, Bezos or Musk? <laughs> Oh, Bezos, really? so far. I mean, look, Musk is a great visionary. I mean, seeing him speak is like watching some other, the, the fifth element or something like that. <laughs> Whereas Bezos, he's a little bit more, you know, like us. Yes. You know, I'm still still quite a ways away, but more like us, just super, super smart. Yeah, Bezos is Apple, Musk is Google, right? Like Musk is talking about what might be Moon and shots. Bezos is delivering. Yeah, yeah, totally agree. Yeah, exactly. Uh Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.